Hey guys, so um, it is almost 2 in the morning and I'm still awake because I know Pimple, Pimple City, Pimple City, well it's only one Pimple, so I don't know, it's Pimple City, I just random started getting Pimple, I'm stressed out, I don't get Pimples and I'm getting Pimples, something's going on, um, anyway, so it is 2 in the morning and um, I don't sleep, what are you talking, so instead, I decided that I would do this video. Now, I've recorded this video like five times, but it won't for some reason upload. Right. So I'm trying a new thing when I record this video. Um, different like things, technological things. Um, so we'll see if it actually works this time. I am distracted. Now when I pointed that out, so, so you're just going to think of pimple. I just don't get pimples, so I don't know what to do. I keep touching it. Okay. Um... So, mainly this video is just going to be an update on my life, and where I've been, and answering y'all's questions, and I'm hoping you will get a Frank cameo, because, well, he's been, he's been wanting to come on, and I know I've gotten so many people requesting for me to do a video about Frank, and it's really funny how many people have actually requested that because I really want to see him and I've gotten a lot of messages asking about him and like what I think about pugs and if I think they're a good dog to get so I'm gonna give you this whole long thing hopefully it won't be that long I'm in my pajamas so I'm ready for bed when said time is right and I'm also very hyper I don't know why I didn't really I don't know why um so he's looking at me right now Oh, what a like, why don't we sleep and you crazy okay so update where I have been I've gotten so many so many messages and comments wondering where I have been a lot of you guys thought I died or I got really sick or I just was done with YouTube or that like haters were getting to me so I just stopped making videos um, and none of those have been accurate um, obviously I'm not dead that's a good thing. I'm also not, like, very ill, which is also a good thing. Um, and I really haven't been getting that many haters. Just, I mean, I've gotten some mean comments and messages, but mostly it's commenting on my pixie cut and me looking like Justin Bieber. So, you know what? I'll take that as a compliment. There's tons of people who love Justin Bieber. There's a lot of people who hate Justin Bieber, but there's a lot of people who love Justin Bieber. So, you know what? Call me Justin Bieber. He's a pop celebrity making millions of dollars, so... It's not like you're calling me, like, Charles Manson or something, you know, like, Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, that would be intense. That's like, oh, you're terrible. No. Bieber. I'll take it. Um, I don't think it really looked that much like Bieber. Just the hair. Whatever. He's very feminine looking in the face so I'm gonna continue to get the Bieber done um not that many haters um getting that and if they are they're talking about that and eh, 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 I don't care I don't care about them um Pug apparently wants to make an early cameo he's shaking the bed so we'll just say hi we'll just give you a quick sneak peek hey Frank say hi that's that's Frank and his little face so that's your quick peek um it looks like it's oh no it's 152 it looks like 521 um you guys wonder a lot what's on my wall this is a tree that i painted um on the wall so that's that's what that is um i get a lot of questions because you guys have seen that in the past that's a big tree i had an obsession with trees um like dead trees for a while before it became like really popular, I mean, you could before you could buy like the big stencils. I mean, you could buy them, but they were like three hundred dollars before they became actually like a normal price. I was obsessive about them, so I painted one. It's my tree. Um. Anyway, so update. Yeah, I didn't die. None of that has been happening. Um, and I thank you guys for all of the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful messages you guys have been sending me, just encouraging me to come back and not to listen to the haters or just. Wondering where I've been, hoping that I was okay, and that you really missed me. Like, I've gotten some awesome encouragement. Like, if I'm ever feeling down on myself, I literally just come on YouTube, and you guys are so sweet and so kind, and I'm just, like, eternally grateful. 
for what you guys say because it really, really helps when I'm having a bad day. And lately, there have been a lot of them. So coming here and just looking at what you guys have been sending me has just been phenomenal. So Frank's super tired. He's crying right now. Got some tears. Um, anyway, so thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Like, you want to come down? From the very bottom of my heart, um, I am so grateful for you guys. It's really astounding how sweet you guys have been to me. Um, so thank you. I haven't had any big... Want to come? We're kind of disrupting the video, bud. Want to come down? I haven't had... <laughs> come here. Okay, so this is Frank. Ooh, you smell good, Frank. You smell florally. Did you put some perfume on the video? They can't smell you. Okay, so we'll talk about Frank a little bit. Um, but I just, um, I literally, the summer was working all summer, nonstop, crazy. Worked at a very well-known coffee shop. They're probably my drift, like pretty much a monopoly, um, very not me, I've worked in coffee shops before, I have been a barista, I've been, I was a barista for, <sighs> ever since I could get a job, so when I was 16 to my sophomore year of college, like, I was, um, that I am very familiar with coffee, um, coffee making, um, so I decided to get a job this summer as a barista. My dog's walking on things. Um, and at that said coffee shop, I don't want to say it because I don't want to bash. And because creepy connections with people. And then a lot of people are like super passionate about this place. Whether they are customers there or they are work partners there. Like freaking obsessive. Not obsessive. That was wrong to say. But basically it wasn't for me. I just wasn't liking it. I did not like the atmosphere very much. Um, I had an awesome boss. He was wonderful, and I really regretted leaving for him because he was great. Um, but it just really wasn't for me. I wasn't happy. It just, um, yeah, it wasn't for me. Um, so I left, and it was hard. Um, they don't look kindly on leaving. <laughs> I mean, the people don't normally are like, yeah, you're quitting, but... Um, yeah, they kind of cut you off and hard, um, there at that company, so beware if you get a job there. Think before you decide to quit, or before you get a job if you know that you have to quit soon. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, I ended up going to a daycare that I'd worked the previous three summers, and a year before that, I think, as well. My junior year. Yeah. Um, and, or my sophomore year. I quit the coffee shop to work there for my sophomore year. Um, and it, it was awesome. I loved it. I still love those kids. They, it's something that I really do enjoy doing. However, both of the jobs are extremely tiring, um, especially working with kids. Um, the other one was just ridiculous because I'd be waking up at like four to be there, like 4.30. Oh. Um, but I really didn't have much of a life because I was waking up really early. I still had to be at the other job at 7 in the morning, so I was waking up early, um, staying there for a good chunk, big chunk of my day, coming home and basically just hanging out with my family and my boyfriend for a little bit before I passed out. Um, so I wasn't making vi any videos. So I apologize for the bulk of the summer why I wasn't around. I was just going crazy working. Then it was moving time. Um, moved my boyfriend out, moved my best friend out, um, moved myself out, my parents' house, which I'm currently in at the moment, um, just for the weekend, but they had a leak, plumage leak, crazy things, and I had to help them move. It was just a con terrible m multiple weeks of moving, and it was atrocious. Um, I hate moving. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I wonder if you guys are, like, freaked out that I kiss dogs. Not kiss. It seems like I'm making out with them. Some people get weirded out when you, like, kiss a dog or, like, kiss their head or, like, let them, like, lick your hand or something. They're all like, oh, my God. 
You're one of those. I am one of those. I have an obsession with my pug. Um, so basically, working, moving out, craziness, got to school, moved everything in, finally have been settled in, um, and can start making videos again. So I have a huge long list of requests that I'm going to start on. A lot of them are mixed all up with crazy different things. Some of them are ASMRs, whisper videos, most of them. Other ones are question videos. Other ones are like random videos that I've gotten requested multiple times, like long lists. So if you want to add to this head list, please leave some below. I got on today and found some really cool ideas as well um, that some of you guys have left me. So please leave below what you would like to see because I really want to start doing it again and making videos um, that you guys are going to like. So leave that below. Um, what else is I going to say? about anything else. I think that was that. So I'm back at school. Things have been kind of crazy when I first moved in. Personal issues. Don't need to go on that. Um, but so now things are kind of steady, steadier um, and I have more time now that my schedule is where it is and everything. So definitely tell me what you guys want to see from this channel. What ASMR videos you want to see. What regular random videos you want to see. Like my pug, which you're about to get in bark on. So yeah, that is that. Now, um, I'm going to talk about Frank. So, you saw Frank. Um, Frank is my pug. <laughs> if you can tell that. Um, I got a number of requests to do a video just talking about him, and I've gotten a couple questions that I actually have on my iPhone. Um, let me go to my notes page. I actually really hate the notes app. I don't like it. It's annoying to type in. Okay, so, okay, I wrote like an outline and then questions. Um, basically, I wanted a dog. He's my dog. I've gotten um, a question like if he was my dog or if he's like my family's dog because I did live here with my parents. He's my dog. I pay for him, pay for his bills, his vet appointments, his shots, his heartworm medication, his toys, his food, everything. He's my sole responsibility. He lives with me in my apartment. Um, he lived over here over the summer, and yeah, he lives with me in my apartment. He is seven months old. I got him when he was two months, two or three months. I always forget. But he's seven months old, um, and will be eight months on October thirteenth. The thirteenth is his birthday. Um. Yeah, he's just exactly what I wanted. So basically, I moved out last year. It was my first year to live on my own. Um, I had gone to college close to my parents' house and lived in my parents' house for two years before I moved out because I needed to save money. I didn't have any money. They didn't have any money. Um, and then transferred and um, moved away. It's really close, though. <laughs> it's, it's only an hour, an hour and a half. Um, depending on tra traffic, um, but moved out there for a year, and it was just, I had grown up with dogs and pets my whole entire life, so having that not, if you are someone who have dogs and pets and have them your whole entire life, not having them with you is so hard, um, just because sometimes, like, I had roommates, but sometimes they weren't there, or sometimes, um, I just didn't want you know, like my talkative, dramatic, you know, roommate, whom I love, whom I, I love my roommates, but it's just nice to kind of have your dog sit with you when you're having a bad day or whatever. And so, um, I really, really, really wanted a dog. So I told my parents I was going to get a dog, but that current apartment didn't allow pets, which I broke that rule. Don't do that, but I did. Um, I actually ended up getting him before the summer. I was going to get him during the summertime. And I ended up getting him, um, in, like, the end of the school year. Um, we only lived there for, like, a couple of weeks before I ended up taking him home and just commuting. Um, because they were coming in doing, like, maintenance stuff. And this junk. So, um, he's, like, wanting to get back in my lap. Okay, so, um, yeah. So I did live with him for a little bit in that apartment. So we kind of got used to that, but not really... Um, and then we moved to my parents' house, so, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything besides, come on, come on, he's ready to go. 
go to bed. It's like, why are we still doing this? Okay, so, um, yeah, that's basically, I, I mean, I just really wanted a dog. I miss having a dog. I love dogs. Um, and then I was trying to decide what dog to get, um, based just, like, on apartments and, um, my lifestyle. <laughs> I was, like, super active or, you know, home a lot, basically all of that. Um, and... I'd always wanted a pug. I love pugs. My mom hates pugs. She thinks they're hideous. And my family just really wasn't wild. Besides my brother, my brother loves pugs. But um, my parents just weren't pug people. My roommates weren't pug people. Like, they just did not want a pug. I just loved pugs. And so, but first I was just like, okay, well, my family's not going to like it. I'm not going to get it. Um, and then I just started doing research. And it ended up being, like, pug was just, like, perfect for me. So I got him. He's getting so antsy. I got him. Um, I ended up deciding on a pug. And originally I was going to adopt. Um, we've adopted um, all of our pets. And I think it's awesome. I, I think adoption is awesome. Pet adoption. Adoption in general. I'm going to that. Um, anyway, but um, for pugs, it's really hard for one to find to book pugs not really hard but it's kind of hard to find pugs in this just the heat the southern heat because they don't do well in heat they can't regulate their body temperature so they can overheat very easily um anyway so a lot of pug kind of adoption agencies and stuff like that had a lot of um requirements basically they had to come out and look at your apartment they had to you know like they weren't really wild about college students. They weren't wild being single. They weren't wild that, you know, you lived in an apartment. They weren't wild. They, like, they had so many, like, rules and stuff. And I talked to the ladies, and they were like, I'm just not sure. I would have to come out and see this. And I was just like, this is so rid ridiculous and hard. It's like adopting a child. Which, I mean, I mean, he is like my child. But it was just really difficult to adopt him. So... Um, and I wasn't picky, I wasn't trying to find a puppy, I wasn't trying, you know, like, I would have taken one with a disability, I really wasn't super, you know, picky, um, I just wanted a male dog, I just, I don't know, I have this weird attachment to male dogs, um, so that was really my only, um, criteria, I guess, so, but I couldn't adopt him, so I ended up just going online, um, on Craigslist, found a really awesome lady, um, ended up buying him, and I've never looked back since. I do not regret it. I think pugs are absolutely wonderful dogs. Um, I know that a lot of people, you know, have a hard time saying, like, they're really hard to house train or house break and whatever. Um, he was learned so fast. I mean, he still had accidents. I got him when he was a young puppy, but, um, he learned really, really fast. I have a potty patch, which is basically kind of this grassy tray thing that he can use the bathroom on. Um, since I have an apartment and I don't have like a balcony area or anything like that, um, I have like a smoker's balcony. It's really tiny. Um, and I have school and stuff, and for like, I'll have a class for three hours, and it will take me like three minutes to get home, kind of things like that. So, um, I just want him to be able to have a place where he can go to the bathroom. It's just easier. So I trained him using the potty patch. He can go outside, not an issue. But um, it's easier for me for him to use the potty patch. So that's what he's trained on. Um, it, it's terrible smell. It smells terrible. But convenience, it's like wonderful convenience. Um, you just have to live with the smell and the grossness of said potty patch. But I keep it in my bathroom. He knows where it is. He uses it. He learned really fast on that thing. Um, he's a smart dog. I have He's really smart dog. Um, so sweet. So lovable. Non-aggressive. Like, he guards the apartment. He loves the girls in the apartment. Because I live with um, three other girls. And he's, like, super protective of all of us. But super loving. Loves to play. Like, just such a great dog. I could have not asked for more. He's, like, been the biggest blessing. And like I've said earlier, the summer, especially the end of the summer, has been really, very hard um, with personal things going on. And 
I don't know what I would have done without him. He's really helped, especially just living in my apartment right now. I just, I'm so grateful to have him. So I definitely recommend if you're looking into getting a dog and you can get a dog, check out about pugs. They have some things you have to be, you know, careful about. You need to, you know, clean out the wrinkles. Otherwise, they can get bacteria and nasty stuff in there. you got to be careful. Um, typically, if you're going to take them out, his collar is basically decorative. I just think it's cute because it's spiky. It's very loose, so it's not con constricting on his neck. Um, if you have like a choke collar or something, you can get their eyes pop out. It's terrible. If you Google it, you will never, ever, 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 ever want to do it. Um, not that you want to do it anyway, but if you Google, it's terrifying. Um, so basically, you need to get him a harness. It's not that hard, but that's just something you need to worry about. Like I said, overheating or overheating and freezing, like they're just not good body temperature. They have the snout issue, so they're snoring. They can have breathing problems, you can't, you know, they need time to rest and stuff, so they're not like, they're active dogs, but they're not like super duper crazy, um, like lab dogs or golden retriever dogs, breeds. Um, anyway, so honestly though, I am so happy with Frank, I could just... He's my, he's my little love, my little child. I have a weird obsession with, I've always loved pugs, like I've said before, but I have this weird obsession with pugs. Now, once you get a pug and you experience pug love, there's no going back. Everybody, I, my family loves him now. My mom thinks he's the cutest dog in the whole entire world. My dad is obsessed with him. My brother's obsessed with him. My roommates are obsessed with him. Like, best thing that could have ever happened. Um, so, yeah, like I said... I really, really recommend getting a pug if it suits you. I would recommend just checking them out, you know, going online, seeing what other people say, looking it up, how they're, you know, breed and everything is for you, if that's working for you, something you're interested in. But if you've been thinking about getting a pug and you've kind of been debating about it, I, like, two thumbs up. Um, so I think that I answered all the questions. Let me make sure I didn't even look at my phone once. Um... Oh, his name's Frank. I think I've said that before, but his name's Frank. Um, I did not name him after Men in Black or anything like that. It ended up working out that way afterwards, and I realized that, but everybody always asks that. I did not name him after Men in Black Pug Frank. I just thought Frank was a really funny name. Um, I had a list of names. I'll read you my list of names. I thought they were funny. I liked the name Horace. I liked the name Harold. I liked the name Neville and Albus. Um... Harry Potter, I also thought of Harry Pugger, Walter, Alan, Frank, I just, Frank just sounded so funny for a pug to me, um, before I realized Frank, it was in Men in Black, but it was between Harry Pugger or Charlie, which I would call him Chuck, because I think Chuck's a cute name, Frank, um, and I think, what was it? I mean, besides the other ones I named, but it ended up being Frank, because he just looked like a Frank, and his dad was called Tank, and be like, Frank the Tank. Anyway, named a Frank, and love it. Um, he's going to be a taco for Halloween. You guys have not asked that question, but I'm trying to win him best pet costume at my apartment complex, and he's going to be a taco. I also thought about dressing up him up as men in black and put him in a little tux with little black glasses and a little cigar, fake cigar. But um, I don't think that'll work out because it's expensive and I'm poor. Um... Pataco, easy. $15, Target. Not important. So that is all that I have to say. I think I got it all out. Um, so that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. Once again, thank you guys for just being so sweet. Um, I hope your guys' life is going well and you've been enjoying everything. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well and life is treating you well. I miss you guys. I can't wait to get back in action. Um, so like I said, if any more requests or anything, leave them below. Comment leave them, message me, whatever you like. I hope I answered all your questions about Frank. Let me let him let me get him one more time so you can see him in all his glory. Frankie Frank. Pug. Come here, Pug. Come here, Pug. He's looking at me like you may just be kidding. It's two in the morning. Two thirteen. Here. Oh you can see my lovely, terribly messy room that I don't live in anymore. Okay. Frank Okay, well, yes, he's, um, pretty, he's a fawn, like I, you know, he's a fawn, he's medium 
size. He's not like a super. I saw one. We took him to the dog park the other day, and there was a tiny itty bitty one. Um, and then there was a rather large one. He was like right in the middle. Frankie, give me a buggy. Come here, bug. He's just done. He's done with the day. He's tired. Come here. Come say goodbye. Okay, so that is all. Um, he's, you know, being him, being a diva. Um, I will talk to you guys soon, and I hope, like I said, you're having a good time in life, because I hope life is going well. I'm being weird about the life thing, but I hope it is going well. Um, I'll talk to you guys all soon. Bye, guys.